Today on Big Bore Air Guns, what we're going to do is test out the power difference between the 22 and the 25 cal Air Force Condor air rifles. I've just done a video on how you can switch out the barrels on these rifles from the 25 cal down to the 22 cal. Now that I've got the 22 cal barrel in the rifle, I'm going to go ahead and test this thing out. The pellets that we're going to be using today are these. We've got these Premier Hollow Point 14.3 grain pellets. I got the exact jumbo monsters at 25.39 grains. And I dug down for an old box of these engine from Korea. Uh, these are 32.4 grain. They're one of the heaviest pellets that you can get your hands on. We're going to test those out as the heavy hitters for this project. Today what we're going to be using for a chronograph is the Pro Chrono Pal from Competition Electronics. I've also got their indoor lighting kit on there. That way we can get a good reading today. Let me set up the camera, we'll put a target down range, and let's see what kind of velocities and foot-pounds of energy the Air Force Condor and 22 cal produces versus the 25 cal. So let's start out with the heaviest weight pellets we've got. We're going to fire these engine 32.4 grain pellets. Go ahead and load one of these in the breech. We should also be able to hear a shot sound difference between the 25 and the 22 cal, so here we go. Yeah, a little louder than the 25 cal. So that's 990 feet per second with 32.4 grains. Let's go ahead and give that a couple more shots just to see what the pattern is on five shots. Oh, those are tough to get into the breach. Here we go, shot number two. Nine hundred and sixty seven feet per second. Here we go, shot three. So nine hundred and forty three. So shot number four. Nine hundred and fifty eight feet per second. Here's shot number five. There we go. So nine hundred and forty five feet per second. We didn't drop all that much in those last three shots. We kind of topped out at the very first shot. Maybe the air pressure was a little past the tuning point there. Really quickly, I'm going to zoom in down here. The three shots on the left right there were the last three shots, and the two shots on the right of the dot were the first two shots. Next pellet we're going to fire is the JSB Exact Jumbo Monsters. These are 25.39 grains, which is still pretty heavy for a 22 caliber round. They're also a conical round and not a Diablo waste. Let's go ahead and give this a test through there and see how fast we can get this to go. One thousand seventy feet per second. That's humming. One thousand sixty-four feet per second. That's great velocities. That's a high-powered round. Let's go ahead and throw. One of these Barracuda Match Ultra Heavy Rounds through this. 1128 feet per second. So that shot was with the H&N Ultra Heavy Barracuda Match. It doesn't tell me the grain weight on here, which is kind of interesting. So I'm not sure exactly what the grain weight on these pellets is, but they sure do have a high velocity as you can tell right there. And they definitely come out over the sound barrier because they're making a much louder sound when I fire them. 1114 feet per second with one of those again. Our last pellet here is the Crossman Premier Hollow Points at 14.3 grains. Let's go ahead and take this first shot. So I reset up the chronograph there after what just happened so you could see. We got 1273 feet per second with 14.3 grain Crossman pellet. So after experiencing that valve lock, let's go ahead and fire another one of these 14.3 grain Crossmans at that. Hopefully we don't see that again. What we get? 1225 feet per second? That's smoking. Here's shot through with those 14.3 grain Crossmans. 1217 feet per second. We're going to test the foot-pounds of energy of the Air Force Condor and 25 cal shooting one of the heaviest pellets that we could get our hands on here and these are the Seneca hunting pellets they are 43.2 grains very heavy pellet even heavier than your typical 22 long rifle lead we're gonna set up the chronograph take five shots and see just how many foot pounds of energy this rifle produces so here we go folks let's take our first shot this is the 43 grain Seneca's 
So 934 feet per second. So here we go, shot number two. Nine hundred and sixteen. That's really fast for a forty-three grain pellet. Twenty-five cal. I've got my power wheel turned all the way up. Nine hundred and thirteen. You can tell that suppressor's working real well, otherwise it'd be as loud as a 22 Magnum. Here we go. And we'll throw one more downrange, 889 on that one. I'm not refilling between shots and I'm not tethered here, so this is just straight from the tank. So 872. Let me go ahead and figure out the foot-pounds and we'll put a chart up on the screen. Next we're going to take five shots from the H&N Spitzkugels. These are a 24.85 grain pellet. Here we go, shot number one. It's 1137 feet per second. Give that another go. Eleven hundred and ten feet per second. Shot three. 1112 feet per second, staying pretty constant there. Shot four. 1105. Here we go, shot number five. So 1077 on shot number five. Our third and final test tonight is going to be the 31 grain H&N Sport Grizzly Round. It's a conical lead, meaning that it's going to fly over longer distances than these Diablo wasted leads. That's the ones that look like an hourglass. Let's go ahead and throw these through the chronograph and see how well they do. 1,021 feet per second. That was shot number one. Here we go, folks, with shot number two. 1,017 feet per second. Here we go with shot number three. 1,010, pretty consistent. That's 31 grains of lead flying at over a thousand feet per second. That's pretty good. Your shot for 1001. Your shot number five. 992 feet per second. Well, there you go, folks. That was a test of both the velocity and the foot-pounds of energy difference between the 22 cal and the 25 cal Air Force Condor air rifle. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Big Boar Air Guns.